Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin and I'm the Outreach Officer at Lucy Cavendish College at the University of Cambridge. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to our brand new Supercurricular Enrichment Resources Sheet. We've prepared this sheet with prospective university applicants particularly in mind because we recognise that, unfortunately, education has been really disrupted owing to the extraordinary circumstances stemming from the current global health situation and that there therefore may be many students out there wondering how best to prepare for university in the current circumstances. So this sheet is designed to give you a really good understanding of exactly what supercurricular activities are. These kinds of activities are a really important part of applying for competitive universities like Cambridge. And by the way, please don't worry if you're sitting there maybe wondering what supercurricular activity actually means, because I will explain that in a bit more detail very shortly. So our new guide is going to help you understand what supercurricular activity is and how and why you should do it. And it's also designed to give you a really comprehensive list of resources to help you with this supercurricular exploration. We've grouped these resources according to their relevant Cambridge undergraduate degree. So this should also be helpful for um, helping you get to know our courses a bit better. But having said that, please also don't worry if you're not really sure about applying to Cambridge yet, or maybe that you're actually already certain that you're not going to. As I said earlier, supercurricular activity is important for applying to competitive universities in general and not just Cambridge, so please do feel you can use this resource. So, as I said, you might well be sitting there wondering, uh, what is supercurricular activity? What is this word that I keep using? Well, supercurricular activity basically refers to any subject-specific academic exploration which goes beyond what you might already be studying in school or college. So, in other words, it's how you're exploring your university subject of interest in your own time, and it should help you develop your understanding and knowledge of that subject. I know it can be easy to confuse the idea of supercurricular activity with extracurricular activity, but they are different because supercurricular activity is really purely academic in focus, and it does relate very directly to your subject of interest. You might also be wondering why we're making such a big deal out of supercurricular activities, but they are really important for a number of different reasons. First of all, taking the time to explore your chosen university subject shows that you really are genuinely interested in that subject and that you're ready to study it at a high level at university. Bear in mind too that the majority of a competitive personal statement for universities like Cambridge will focus in detail on supercurricular exploration. Secondly, supercurricular activity is not only helpful for the personal statement, but also for other aspects of the university admissions process, like any admissions assessments or interviews you may have. This is because your academic exploration should enable you to develop really important subject-specific skills and knowledge, which will help you in the application process and actually beyond that too. I do know that all sounds rather serious and perhaps a bit daunting, but please do bear in mind that we want this to be a fun, rewarding activity for you. Remember that there are no exams or deadlines with this kind of exploration, so you really are free to follow your own lines of inquiry. And please don't ever feel like you need to do something just because it might look impressive on a personal statement. It really is all about letting your own interest guide you here. And on the topic of this process being fun and interesting, this is also a really good chance to think carefully about the degree you might want to study at university. If you're not finding exploring a certain topic very interesting and it's actually becoming a bit of a drag, then you might like to see if there's another subject that you do find a bit more fun to explore. Okay, so now we should hopefully have more of an idea about what supercurricular activity is um, and why you might want to do it. So I'd like to give you a few tips now about um, supercurricular activity and help you kind of kickstart it before we actually get into the document itself. So firstly, you've probably um, heard the term wider reading or reading around your subject used quite a bit. Um, and it is true that a lot of supercurricular activity does take that form. And that is particularly the case for arts and humanities subjects. 
But that said, please don't feel you can only do reading. And as you'll see in the document, there are lots of other different resources recommended, such as podcasts and videos and online courses and that kind of thing. Um, and I would really like to point out that for STEM subjects in particular, you are welcome to read around a particular topic if you'd like. But probably the most important thing you should be doing is practicing key subject specific skills such as logical and mathematical thinking. And you should be doing that in a really hands on way. So you might like to work through different problems, consolidate and strengthen key areas of knowledge and maybe do some extension work based on what you're studying in school too. And for these kind of subjects, the key really is to get used to applying existing knowledge to new, unfamiliar problems or ideas. And that's actually the case not only for STEM subjects, but for pretty much all the courses that we offer. Um, because getting used to doing that, you know, is going to be really helpful for things like admissions assessments and the interview where that skill of um, sort of applying existing knowledge to a new, different area, something you've not, not seen before, is going to be really helpful. So I know that all sounds rather a lot to do and maybe a bit daunting at this stage, but uh, please do remember that the key really is quality over quantity and breadth over uh, depth over breadth rather. So please do not feel as though you have to mention a vast array of different resources in your personal statement because the important thing is that you have engaged with them properly and thought about everything critically and analytically. So I would therefore recommend maybe keeping a diary or a log of some kind um, detailing what you're exploring. So you can practice summarising the key ideas and knowledge that you've gained from a particular resource and then you can think carefully and analytically about what you've come across. You can also then reflect on the resource and think about what it may lead you to do next. So did you want to explore a totally different idea now or maybe do you want to look at the same idea from a different perhaps contrasting viewpoint? And keeping this kind of log is going to be really helpful for writing in detail about your supercurricular activity on your personal statement. So I hope that was useful for giving you a bit more of a detailed idea of what supercurricular activity is. And I think we're now ready to start having a proper look at the document itself.